weekend, and uh, we're, lucky, or we're looking forward to hearing how that goes on Saturday. Yeah, thank you. It should be fun. So check out EOUsports.com Saturday afternoon for updates on how uh, the EOU cross-country programs do. We're going to go ahead and pull up uh, Keith Scarlett, the head soccer coach here at Eastern Oregon University. Yeah, coach Scarlett to come on down again. Check out Saturday afternoon on EOUsports.com and see how cross-country programs did there in Salem. Races at 9.30. Coach, uh, bringing up, is that uh, Pepsi? Pepsi. Pepsi. Diet or just regular Pepsi? It's regular Pepsi with two red straws. Two red straws. I like it. Coach Scarlett, uh, we have to begin with the, the breaking news of the day. Friday's opponent, Concordia University, reclaimed their number one spot in the NAI today. What makes the Cavaliers such a dangerous team? I have no idea. <laughs> Can I answer that way? You, I guess you could, yeah. I have no idea. I know you've had some trouble uh, tracking out some game tape from them. Uh, we got game tape. Okay. So we, we got what we needed. Um, they uh, they um, are consistent everywhere. Um, they, they don't... You know what? We're just going to cut right to it. This isn't going to be no radio... Coach Carla keeps it real. Yeah, we're I just like going to cut right to it. Okay. They are, they are as good as they are. However, they have some weaknesses that can be exposed. Okay. And I don't believe that teams have prepared for them. Game tape that I've got, I have gotten a hold of, has shown the opponent adapting to Concordia in the middle of the game when they should have been adapting ahead of time. And you can't play a team at that level and not know what's coming before the game starts. So, you know, they're talented, and by no means am I saying the number one team in the country is a joke, because they're not. I'm just saying that there are some weaknesses, there are some issues, there are some things that, that they do that I uh, don't, you know, don't think are the, the strongest things, and we know what they are. We have uh, a game plan in place, and we're going to try to exploit those weaknesses, and we're going to try to take advantage of uh, a lot of different facets of the game. No, it's, it's kind of weird if you look at statistically, Concordia isn't first in uh, many stats in the league. Uh, in fact, they're not even second in any of the stats. Uh, so they're really not at the top in too many, but the Cavs are first in a major stat, and that's goals allowed. They've played 740 minutes, eight games, and given up zero goals. Uh, sophomore goalie Tori Talbot uh, has gone 770 minutes without allowing a goal. You know, if you could share a little bit do you got a game plan for scoring a goal on Concordia? Um, well, you, know, you always want a game plan for scoring a goal in any game. You don't score in soccer, you don't win. Right. Okay, all right. Which is why they're very good because you're not getting scored on. You don't get scored on, you don't lose. But all that aside, see, Pepsi's the choice of the new generation. Right now, they're the choice of America's number one. You know, but the difference is, though, is that, that you, have to, uh, you have to figure out what it is that they're going to do and how they're going to do it and how do they want to play and what is it that you're going to do to disrupt that? And, um, you know, because the show's got a lot of popularity and we've got probably a lot of people in Portland that are watching this show. We're going to, you know, keep it under the, under the cuff a bit, you know. But, yes, we have a game plan in place that will give us the best chance of success at um, having success against Concordia on Friday. Now, uh, if you need a little bit of more motivation in the locker room, passes on Eastern Oregon University has never beaten in any sport a number one ranked team. So this would be the first time that's ever happened. So go ahead and use that one locker room if you need to. I can use that. Uh, Warner Pacific comes to town on Saturday. What are the Knights bringing to the field? The Knights, uh, you know, the Knights are scarier than Concordia are. And the reason is because with Concordia, you know what you're going to get. With Warner Pacific, they have a new coach this year. Their schedule has been against some quality teams. They don't score a lot of goals, but they also don't give up a lot of goals. Uh, they got their first win the other day, um, and they have tied some very quality teams through overtime. Um, so they're, 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 they're scarier in the context of the unknown about them um, than what Concordia is. The thing that, that is to our advantage is that of the two teams on paper, you know, rankings, whatever you want to do it, Warner Pacific is the weaker of the two teams. We get Concordia right out of the gate. We play well, great, we have confidence. We don't play well, boo-hoo, whatever, we're not supposed to win. They're supposed to win, they're Concordia, okay? 
But while we're dealing with Concordia on Friday, Warner Pack's having to deal with College of Idaho two and a half hours away, and the times don't change. And they've got to come deal with us the next day. And so the fact that our travel partner at College of Idaho is a, is a major plus for us, you know, because they're going to pound on teams, they're going to beat on teams, they're going to physically make it difficult for them. And so we have to go into Concordia and do what we can. But we also have to recognize, you know, that, that you're playing the number one team in the country, the number one team in the country for a reason. And if they do what the number one team in the country does, then we have another game on Saturday. We know to play. Now, uh, Warner Pacific picked up its first win uh, of the season uh, last weekend, shutting out Southwestern of Arizona 3-0. to zero. Uh, They've played teams really tough, and uh, what do you expect Saturday's game to be like between you guys? They're going to look at the same. They're going to look at it as they need as many conference wins as possible, and we are a notch on their bedpost. When they go down their schedule, they're looking at College of Idaho, saying uphill climb, probably can't get it. We'll try our best if we do great. Eastern Oregon, we can definitely get. To. And so they're they're going to come in that mindset. They're going to come in the mindset that we're going to go in and we're going to beat Eastern Oregon and we're going to walk out at the worst one and one. If they do get a good result against College of Idaho, it's going to be more difficult for us. You know, but they're going to come in and they're going to play, and they play defense. They don't, they don't give up goals, um, you know, on a consistent basis. They're very scrappy. You know, the new coach over there is, um, you know, he, he kind of has a flair to his old playing style, his coaching style. His players are kind of taking up on that, you know. They're, they're a lot more creative, a lot more free-flowing. Um, and they're not really a young team necessarily, but at the same time, they're, you know, they're young in the sense that, that he's new. But they're a lot, but but they're older, you know, to where we're we're rolling them with 13 freshmen, you know, three two first years from JUCO players, you know, potentially starting nine first years on the field, you know. He on the other hand's got some returners and some experience, so you know, they're they're they're, they're going to be a handful. But that's that's the conference, though. If it, if it wasn't a handful, then it wouldn't be any fun to play. Now, uh, conference games, it's the first ones of the season coming up this weekend. What would you like to see, uh, to see your team kind of progress in this weekend? I want to beat Concordia six to nothing. I want to beat Warner Pacific twelve to nothing. Okay, okay. and then I, I want to start that off, and then the following week, as you to petition for us to be number one in the nation, like boxing, when you knock out the number one team, you're okay. the top. Okay, no, <laughs> um, well, I want, we, we can do our part for that if you okay. make that Okay, right. Right. <laughs> I, want, um, I want the uh, I want the ladies to compete. Last Saturday against Westminster was, if it if it wasn't the best overall outing of the year. It, you know, from a, from a competitive standpoint, from a fighting, from a playing as a team, from a putting all, all the little things together standpoint, you know, it was at the top. You know, we, we, you know, from the first half and the first part of the second half, we did everything we needed to do, we had opportunities to score, and that's what we want. If we come out and we can do that, the scoreboard's irrelevant. That we, we've learned something, we've progressed, we've moved forward. It wasn't a fluke, you know. It, 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 was, it was who we are, and we start to get an identity. So I want us to compete, you know. I want us, I want us to battle, and I, 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 regardless of what happens on the field. And just let the ladies to go out and just say, you know what? We're gonna battle. Ninety minutes, we're gonna fight you, we're gonna scrap you, we're gonna follow you, and and see what happens. Now I asked Coach Walsh this question, uh, so I'll ask it to you as well. Uh, what teams have you been impressed with in the conference? We know about Concordia, but uh, Corbin's a team was off to a school record, 8-1, and best start. Um, you know, everybody talks about Concordia. When Concordia gives up their first goal, it's a big question. What are they going to do? How are they going to respond? Okay, they're a seasoned team. You know, they're a disciplined team. They're a very well-coached team. They're a very well-managed team. Looking at that, you know, do they give it up against us? Do they give it up against College of Idaho? If not, I believe they have Corbin coming in the next weekend. All right, and um, Corbin is very fluid. Corbin is very seasoned. Corbin is very, very creative. They're unpredictable. You know, they, um, they, they.